Hey everyone, this is Christine with Left Side Art. Today I am going to draw an elephant with intense color pencils and blocks. The image that I am sketching out here comes from Pixabay, so they're royalty free photos that you can use for your art. The paper I'm using here is by Canson, and it's actually an illustration art board. And what an art board is, is it's thicker than paper, but it's not as sturdy as a canvas board. And it comes in a block format similar to other pads of paper where you can paint and draw directly on here and when you're done, tear it out of the pad. But I usually like to remove it from the pad early just in case I have any spots where I might have ripped the paper a little bit. But this is ultra smooth and it's extra white. And Canton says this is good for ink, marker, or pencil. And the pencil I'm using is really soft lead. I don't remember what level it was, but it erased very easily. I didn't leave any smudges, and my hand didn't smudge it either. So I have the full set of 72 pencils and the 72 block set. And I really like using these in combination with each other. The blocks are very nice to paint with. The pigment is very strong. You can just take a little bit uh, with water and you can either mix it together, make your own colors if you don't want to get the whole set, or you can apply it directly with a paintbrush from the block onto your paper without even really using a palette like I am here. And I'm just using a small water brush, paint brush, nothing too fancy. And what I like about the ink tents is that you can layer and layer and layer. Unlike watercolor where sometimes you're layering and you might pick some color back up. This is very forgiving. You can layer on top of each other. You can put light on top of dark. You put dark on top of light. And it doesn't really lift back off at all. This artboard was pretty nice with the intense blocks and in that I could apply many layers and have any problems. Sometimes you know different papers to use, maybe you'll run into um, issues with absorbency and maybe even not being layer too much. But this artboard I didn't have too many problems. I'm going to end up trying other media on this artboard as well just to see what it can take. Even though it says it's for ink, marker, and pencil, they don't really specify what type of pencil. So I definitely want to try color pencil and charcoal on here as well. And so I just did a pretty simple background. I didn't want to put too much effort into this. It is a pretty small pad I have. It's only eight by 10, but I also was experimenting to see what it would take, what would the finish be like. Um, I was pretty pleased overall. So I'm definitely going to be using this again. So I just put a nice light background here and put some design to it. Now with the elephant itself, what I usually do after I have it all sketched out, I'll, I usually almost always do the background first and then I start on my foreground image. And I work in layers. So first, you know, I'll try to get some medium color put in here and just kind of cover up where my pencil marks were, get some of the shading and some of the light areas 
more defined the knot. And then I will use this monochromatic picture to layer my colors on top of. It helps as a guide because, you know, sometimes you start to lose some of your pencil marks. It covers up the pencil. The pencil I used actually in this case was water soluble. So with Inkens, you don't really have to worry too much. I've used regular graphite and um, it, as long as you're using a pigmented color, it does cover it up pretty nicely because this is water soluble ink. So as soon as it dries, you know, it dries, you can layer. Um, the white in the blocks is very pigmented. It doesn't even look like it's going on much when you're applying it, but as it dries, it dries very opaque. So there's different ways that if you did use a graphite pencil and it wasn't covering up with the colors you're using, you rely on that white a bit. And here I'm not even using a palette. Like I said, you could just take a paintbrush, dampen it a bit, and apply directly from the block. And the blocks are nice to get a lot of coverage down. I don't apply the block directly to the paper. That's one thing that will cause some graininess. But if you do it like this, it goes on very nice and smoothly. Now whenever I start to get into more detailed areas, I do switch over to the pencil. And the pencils, you can also blend them out with water to make it that same type of water soluble ink effect. And as I work more and more on this elephant, I realized my sketch looks like the elephant is a bit stretched out. Maybe not so much in its face, but its legs. And I think that was because the angle of which I was looking at my iPad was a little off. So whenever I go to frame this, I will just cut off the bottom part of the elephant a little bit and bring them back up. But again, I wasn't putting too, too much effort into this. It was just a nice quick sketch to see how this artboard would react. I definitely would frame this um, artboard rather than just leave it lay out. If you're going to display it somewhere, it's not something you could just hang on a wall like a canvas. It warps slightly, and I mean just so very slightly and I wasn't putting so much water on here but it just you know of course probably has its limitations and for this being a plain air type of material where you know you could be out on location um, I, I think it definitely would work out for that very well without much problem at all I think definitely better than just regular paper that then you often have to find a surface to tape it down to so I'm going to set the rest of this to music um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will catch you next time. Thanks.